What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new series here on the channel. My name is Daily Fix and we are playing Medieval Conquest. Yes! A week ago, and remember I'm still in training, a week ago I was browsing the Steam Workshop and I came across this fantastic mod. It's been rated 5 stars on the Steam Workshop. So many people have downloaded this mod and I, and I was looking on YouTube and I was like, where are all those videos? Where are they? So I dropped everything and we're going to start this series. Now let me press start a new game first because this is an incredibly large mod and it will take me some time to get those loading screens up so let's go. There is incredibly, incredibly much in this mod. You can see vassals getting killed, uh, being executed for treason and just also uh, the uh, easy way of naming your companions is also in that you can import and export any of your companions, name them the way you like, shape them into the vassals you would like to see and also this, you can host a co-op multiplayer using the WSE uh, script for uh, Warbanders of course if you go to the Steam Workshop you are able to find all links needed uh, to do this uh, we might be doing something like that in the future if, if you might be interested in stuff like that uh, by all means uh, let me know but what I'm hoping for this one is I'm hoping for a lot of feedback because I know this has been downloaded so many times and there is a ton of you out there that know probably everything about this mod. And I'm, I, I've, I have, I've had a few hours playing this. I can say a full week, but that would be a lie. Let's say I've been playing this for two, three hours. So I'm really counting on you guys. Uh, it, it uses a lance recruitment system, uh, meaning uh, with the native you go from village to village and you can recruit uh, volunteers. And with the lance recruitment system. Uh, you recruit a, a band of uh, warriors. Uh, we are going for a male because I'm a male character. We have um, suffix, stuff like that, on, off. Let's go for on because I think it would be weird otherwise in the mod to add something that I'm not going to be using. Now you can see this. This is incredible. You can start as a monarch, a prince, a vassal, an adventurer and even a bandit. Uh, I was thinking of maybe doing Monarch, but if you are with me, then then you know I, I like going the way up there. And 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 starting as a Monarch, no, no, I don't think that's fun. But we are going to start as a Sworn Vassal, and uh, we are going to be starting. Man, I, I, oh wow! I just I I I, <laughs> I got myself scared by the <laughs> by the booms. I was like, for somebody shooting around here. I was absolutely gobsmacked. Um, there's so many countries in here, like you can see: English, France, Norway, Scotland, uh, the Gallic, uh, Sweden, something I cannot pronounce, Portugal, Aragon, Castile. That that's like uh, Spain. Uh, and then near other uh, something, uh, Grenadia, that's uh, the part just below Spain, in, I believe it's like in the 14th, 15th centuries, it was, uh, it's, it's, well, not, Spain wasn't formed yet, so there you go. Uh, the Papal States, uh, the Brazilian, uh, something, Crusader States, Kingdom of Sicily, blah, another, yeah, so many, so incredibly many of these bloody countries it's just incredibly that I have been able to get everything in there my god this list is never ending but we are going for Scotland yes uh, I do like the flag it kind of resembles like the Dutch lion as you know I might be uh, I'm not I might be Dutch I am Dutch uh, I live in the city called Tilburg so let's go Yes, I'm satisfied with my choices. What you do if you start as a vessel, you don't have to. You don't have to say well, what your father was and all that stuff. But um, yeah, you'll just start with a base character, and I think that's just uh, fantastic. Let's see if we can find a, a cool, cool banner. There's something that fits a tiny bit with what I'm trying to do for this series. No, that banner was more French. No, no. 
Oh boy. Wow. Yeah, let's go for the weird ass unicorn. Ah, uh, should we do realistic? No, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing some issues lately with Mountain Blade crashing on me. I don't know why because I have it on Steam, so it should be updating immediately. But allow me to quit whenever I want. Okay, so for the character name, I came up with a William Wallace. W William Wallace. You know, the guy trying to free Scotland from the repression of the English. Uh, didn't end all too well for him, but I, I think he created something that we can call a legacy. Uh, there is a lot in here. What do we want? I think that he was definitely good in persuasion. He had a, a very good leadership. So uh, let's just start by... No, that, that's way too much. Uh, let's go this to 12. Agility 6. So 12, 6, 6, 8. Let's go this for 9. Mm. Let, let's just hold on for these points. So, like I said, uh, persuasion, I, I want to get up there. Uh, present management is going to be something important. We are probably going for like a two-handed weapon. Uh, I did read that Luden is really, really important in this mod. So, let's do this to nine. Let's start investing a tiny bit into agility. So, uh, Luden is now on two because of course Ludin is a agility skill but I want a few things else uh, let's go with a bit of inventory management because I I tend to run out uh, let's do shield athletics and a tiny bit of a weapon mastery I know maybe the iron flash was not that good of a choice but uh, we will see we will see let's two handed weapons Increase that. Oh, if only we had a button like fill completely. That would be absolutely amazing. Okay, let's go for done. So, uh, we started with this guy. Look at that. Uh, I don't think so. No, he looks like a French guy. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. Yeah, this could be it, but we need a beard. Powerful beard. <laughs> it's look like like this one of these guys wearing like a very thick sweater, and he's like, "Oh my god, I'm so cold. This is not fair. Where's the world going to? This is not fair because I'm so cold. This is this is look. Like, this is a beard of a king. Do we have something more wild? More? <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, this is kind of wild. No, 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 no. Uh, well. I think this should be okay. I cannot do the, the blue stripes though. This is not Mel Gibson. Um, I'm kind of young. My hair color. We are going for... Yeah, let's go blonde. I'm blonde. Well, yeah. I'm sure you could have guessed. So you have two, you have two options. Because you start out as a vessel. Uh, you get a, a city. So in the Verns, that is your city. Or else you can do uh, a caravan to another country. I would go, definitely go to your own your own like little town this is yours it's absolutely incredible now map viewage uh, let's see Scotland Ireland England uh, Norway Sweden Denmark Germany France Spain this is um, Grenada I believe and uh, yeah Grenada Grenada I'm sorry don't shoot me just yet uh, what kind of destiny dynasty is this the Marin destiny but look at the size. Look at the size, guys. This is incredible. It is so incredibly large. And I can tell you this just beforehand. Before even starting with the series. Uh, Warsaw Conquest. I think it might not even be half the size of this. And it had a lot of lag issues. I hate lag issues. Nobody likes lag issues. The one thing though, I believe, yeah, we do start out with a war... In the kingdom of Norway. So that might be something we have to look out for. Um, there's a few things. And I think it might be best if we start uh, looking for... Let's see. we got one guy. That's it. Huh? Yeah. Okay. William Wallace there. He is supportive to us. You can... This is the, the suffix. Uh, you can see who is supportive to you. 
would be absolutely weird if my own character was like, you know what, I'm not going to listen to you. Uh, inventory, you do know just that some of the slots are not here. They are there, and as soon as you put something in there, it will do. We got a spear. Uh, let's say 21 again. Yeah, this is definitely not better than this one, but uh, let's take a look. It does kind of look cool. I, I think it looks cool. Uh, we got some bread, we got some butter, we got 16,000 dinar. Um, our own town. Uh, we can sell everything automatically if you so desire. You can recruit volunteers. Uh, recruit one lance, recruit all of the lances. And currently, there are six lances available for recruitment. I'm not sure how expensive they are, but I believe they are incredibly expensive. You can uh, invite nobles for a hunt. Let, let's just show you. Because this is your own town, so you start here. And you got Peter standing here, uh, Joseph, and John. And uh, you can recruit those guys. Uh, that's just that's awesome, right? Uh, greetings, your lordship. Perhaps you call me here uh, because you like me to represent you on the field of battle. Yeah, sure. But how? Much, oh my God! You just you, you cannot choose. You just like pop. There you go. Three hundred coins of compensation for my family when I'm away. Uh, Okay, so is that enough? You're probably not married, right? Uh, yeah, you, you, here you go. I don't know if I always want everybody uh, right away. Let's see, Peter. Oh, uh, suddenly <laughs> we got some forces. Ain't that brilliant? Uh, Scottish Highlander, Axeman, Clansman, uh, Mounted Sergeant, uh, Levies. Uh, we got a new uh, militia. Crusader or something like that, and Peter. Uh, he is in infantry. I think he should be a lot better in uh, cavalry. So do keep in mind that you might have to you will switch around some of your guys. Uh, we cannot talk to him right now. Actually, 300 is not that bad. Let, let's just say, uh, yeah. How much are you? You are also 300. And John, yes, 300. So any of you have any skills? No, but you all start out. Oh, I said all start out. No, uh, except for John. John's like, I don't own a horse, sir. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Lost it. Now there's a, there's a lot of things that there should be something go away near the city, I believe. Uh, God, I'm always searching. There are manners in in this mod pack as well. Oh, we'll probably see it in the near future because I just can't find it at the moment. Probably it's something you'll get if you have like a, a you know, a castle or stuff like that. What is the maintenance? Weekly cost 1,237. For these guys, who is so expensive? Yo, Scottish X-Men. Okay, that's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Let, let's talk to you. So, what are your skills? So... He's basically start out with the same skills as you start out with. If you choose the vessel, uh, only he has more uh, weapon mastery, shield, and, and stuff like that. So yeah, not bad. I, mean, I think they all have this. Uh, let's talk about skills. Yeah, that that's basically the same. Uh, John. I don't know if 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 William Wallace had a character that was named John, but um. Like, he is, he's a bit different. He's more an intelligence guy. So, yes, he will be probably our medic. Uh, that's kind of cool, actually. They do provide you with someone that can do your surgery, your first aid, and stuff like that. That, that. That's just amazing. But there's so many things. I cannot even stress out how much is in there. You, we can go around and, and go to... Uh, where are you? Oh, yes, this is the export and input. If you want to have, like, a character or a, a, a another guy like a Peter... Uh, you just click him and you press C and it will uh, copy it. Okay, C, go back and if we go to... No, no. You'll have to go to uh, the Mountain Blade folder in your save files. Yes, characters. It should have now Peter. So if you are really contributing to this series, you don't ask for it. Okay? I'll, I will decide who is going to be in the series. Don't ask for those things because uh, I, I don't think that's that's nice. You know, people begging for to, to be in the series and I don't like that. Uh, so let's go to Sterling. We've got Sterling in Glasgow. Um, anything else here? No. 
there are some mod options and they are incredible. Uh, we've got shield bash, weapon bash, we've got um, a weapons breaking, it should be in here, yeah, weapons breaking as well. There's one thing that we might end up turning off. Oh, uh, let me look for it, it's always such terrible... Oh, uh, where are you? It has something to do with the looting. I believe we can turn it off. I got no clue where at the moment. I'm probably just missing it right out, right away. Uh, let's say blah blah blah. No, 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 no. no. Uh. Troops spawn with torches at night. This is absolutely brilliant. Yes, it does what it says. At night, some of your torches, some of your torches, have, will have men on them. Yes, that's that's English, right? Uh, companion overseers button O oh, attribute page one we can change that to something else uh, here's it user enchantment uh, I will show you this I will show you this once uh, because it can be rather confusing and I'm not very good with confusion now up here we've got sterling we've got Glasgow what I'm looking for is something to fight because look how smooth this game is running that that's brilliant I'm, I'm, I'm really really thankful for the creators of this mod that they we're able to keep this mod so... Wait, we don't have food. We've got a little bit of food. Uh, well, we'll run out shortly. Um, anyone here? No, nobody, nobody. Okay, that's a shame. I was hoping to fight someone. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Riots are spreading in kill drumming. Yeah, there's some, there's some weird things going on. There was something there. There is something here. Pirates! Arr! You're running from me, you're helping him, Count Wallace, and we're going to join him in his battle. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, yeah, give me some time to save. What this does is, if you are being caught by a band, you know, you're not never going to <laughs> be able to run or run away from or stuff like that. Give me time to save. It will end you in here and you can run away. That's brilliant. Thank you so much. Oh. Also, I'm... Um, um, Okay, yeah, thank, thank you, um, it, it's okay, just bark right through me. Um, the one thing that's been absolutely wonderful is I have the tendency to be knocked out. Now, this mod, if you are knocked out, you will be, uh, well, you replace the spirit of one of those AI guys, meaning you will have the power to control that AI character and play as that character. So if I get knocked out, I'll get another character. It's just until you are the last person standing and you're being chopped down, then yeah, then it's still game over for you. But it's brilliant. I've never, never seen it in any mod. Let's see, how is the spear doing? It's kind of fast. I do like that. Uh, shield up, please. Uh, uh, I think my cavalry is getting slaughtered right now. Oh, I did barely any damage. Not too happy about that though. Oh, still no kill. Yeah, I I'm trying to get my wages down a bit. Oh no, oh no. Horses in the way, horses in the way. Just go away. <laughs> I was almost going to show you. What an amazing feature the knocked out system is. But I did kill one man, I believe. Uh, these are mere pirates, but they do have some, some great, great armor. And you can see there, weapons breaking all over the place. It's wonderful. I think it's it's a good ad. What am I doing? <laughs> because I'm not focusing. I'm, I'm way too busy talking to you guys. I hope you all forgive me. Um, yeah, unicorn safety day. Uh, we'll probably will get nothing out of this one. Um, well, that's that's not really. Well, at least he is helpful. Relationship with them is already at ten. That's absolutely wonderful. My name is Baron William Wallace, and I'm supportive. That's a bit well. Well, he's supportive as well. We'll go capture the pirate. We'll upgrade the troops a bit later on. Now, upgrade the and management the NPC system. Thank you so much for letting us do this. You can equip two plants. What you can do is you have an attack team and you can say everybody 
that don't work. But you can say use plan 1 for this character and plan 2 for the other. So he is mounted, so give him a pull weapon, a one handed, two handed, and a shield. And in this one, we're going to have a, a one handed, a shield, a crossbow, because we don't have to spend points in um, a power draw. And I do like to spend that. So, plan one, plan two. Uh, Peter and Joseph, you are definitely going to be plan one. Upgrade armor, upgrade horse. Uh, using oh that didn't save oh that that's kind of a bummer okay that this might be my bad yeah the thing is that the the, the, the buttons do not light up and I actually think that these buttons are, are not near any of it so uh, pull one two shield upgrade armor upgrade horse and and John uh, you are going to be my one-handed guy uh, my uh, shield dude a crossbow character and a bolt dude upgrade armor I hope I got everything right your campaigns can pick up stuff that you do not want to pick up now this is what I'm talking about is the looting system it confuses the heck out of me it really does um, you can press your companions you can even make a list of regular troops awesome I think um, like I said really confusing to me you can equip your characters and, and yeah, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure how, how this is all going. So equip companions. We'll have to do it for everyone at the button. No, it doesn't appear to be so. Uh, retrieve all items and return. We did get some stuff. Let's see. Uh, John, you are indeed the food dude. So I'm going to kill that option right now. Uh, user interface looting. Yes, thank you. So it will be just a normal one. Uh, but yeah, there is a lot of this mod that I do not know. And I'm going to stress you, if you have information about this mod pack, about the things we are going to run into, then by all means, let me know. So let's talk a bit to our king. He is uh, welcoming to us with a good relationship. Look at that crown on his hat. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, hello, I'm so Yeah, okay. So, uh, we can go to the Holy Land and help our brothers battling there for God. So uh, instead of breaking law and having to be caught, you can go for on a crusade if you ever so desire. Uh, and, and yeah, do you have a task for me? Nothing. That's kind of kind of too bad. <laughs> oh boy, uh, I must back you, my leave. Uh, let's go to Glasgow. Uh, these are these manors, and if you have a castle, probably or a town, you'll get a manor. And there are ways of upgrading that manor, I believe. I have no clue how. So if you do have that information, do let me know. I will uh, thank you for that. Of course, I will respond to every everything that I get here. Uh, recruit. Now you can hire a mercenary company, and you can hire lands, uh, a lands, and um, lances are better units than the mercenary companies, as far as I'm aware. I do keep in mind that for every great unit is a even greater payment that they require so keep that in mind i'm going to sell the stuff i'm going to end the very first episode here we had at least we had one battle we had the creation of william wallace we're going to make something epic about it i'm not sure this could be a immensely long series because this this mod has really got to me it's been a long time that a mod has really got to me the last time that i'm i was really planning a very long series was with Perisno. I love that mod and this is a mod that I'm definitely going to love. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this mod, what you know about this mod and let's have fun and, and, and they should have made this into a buyable painting and it would be so funny that guy's not going to be smiling at all. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching and do hope you enjoyed, hope to see you next time. Don't forget to hit that like button guys, it will really, it, it's 3 seconds for you and it perhaps 200 other people around the world that snowed this far. Hey, look at that. that. That could be a cool video. Who knows? Anyways, thank you for watching. Goodbye.